It wasn't such a nice day in Sanford, though. That's where they saw hail and some wind damage. We find Rosalind Flaherty there now. Ros? Hey, Keith, yeah, it's a much different story right now. Things have definitely calmed down, but earlier today, the storm knocked over several trees onto homes. And as you can see behind me, the cleanup continues. It was quite the morning for Morris Grant. Uh, all of a sudden, I heard a loud crashing noise, and I still didn't know what it was until the whole trailer moved. He came outside to find this, a tree broken in half, damaging part of his Sanford home. What a mess inside. The storm ripped through town. I was petrified, really. I thought, dear God, maybe this is the end of the world. <laughs> It wasn't the end of the world, but it did cause a big mess. DPW crews had to break out the snow plows to clean up. It was a crazy storm. Absolutely very, crazy. Very crazy. Another common theme here in Sanford is the hail. If you take a look, all of this hail fell on a good portion of Sanford, and it kind of looks like Christmas in July. Yeah, it, did, it didn't sound like snow. <laughs> no, it didn't. Not at all. Hail blanketed Roger and Patty Rouleau's yard, destroying their plants. And those were tomato plants, cucumbers, pepper. These were pepper plants. Like, it's just gone. Everyone is thankful to be okay as the work continues to clean up. And I got leaks in the place now that I didn't have before. Now, last we spoke with Grant, he says he was waiting to hear back from the insurance company. Now, talking a little bit more about the hail, it caused quite the headache at Mark Motors in Sanford. We're going to go to some video now. Uh, the vice president says every car on the lot was damaged by the hail. You can see in this video which he says is more than 1,000 vehicles. He says he's waiting to hear back from the insurance company as well. We're live in Sanford, Roslyn Flaherty, New Center, Maine.